I'm David Porter, uh, CEO at eCampus Ontario, and it's my pleasure to welcome you this morning to the uh, Ontario Open Badge Forum. This is the second event of this kind that we've held here in Toronto. The first was in 2017 in November, uh, and it followed our annual conference. And we had about 110 people at that event, and we're expecting about 150 here today. Uh, it's a fantastic setting, as you can see, and uh, kind of does the heart good to be in a space like this, uh, to be learning and uh, seeing a fantastic view at the same time. I'd like to begin with an acknowledgement by acknowledging that the land that in which we gather is the tr traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and most recently the Mississaugas of the Credit River. Today, this meeting place is still home to many indigenous people and we're grateful to have the opportunity to learn and work on this land. As we start this morning's uh, proceedings, we're going to engage you throughout the day with uh, both presentation and activity. This is a really important opportunity for the community to gather and dialogue about something really important. And that has to do with uh, the recognition of learning and our opportunity to close gaps uh, between education, training, and employment. And for us, it's really about an opportunity to rethink. And rethinking has been a guiding principle at eCampus Ontario for the past two years. We've been very much focused on rethinking the learning experience, learning resources, and more importantly, recognition of learning. Uh, it's really important to today's youth. Uh, one estimate puts the importance above 90%, that most students are now coming to post-secondary education and training with the thought of gainful employment afterwards. It's not just about the learning experience or the starting point in knowledge building that it has been before, but there is a really determined focus on employment. And one of the ways to do that is to recognize all forms of learning that students acquire throughout their lives before they get to post-secondary and even uh, while they're in post-secondary. It's not just about the deep domain learning they have from the programs and, and uh, courses that they take, but it's also about the things around the edges that also inform their growth and development and their move towards both employment and uh, good citizenship. A colleague at uh, the University of California, Irvine, produced a really nice paper last year in 2018 called Alternative Digital Credentials, an Imperative for Higher Education. And his thesis was very simple, that digital credentials carry more information with them throughout life than simply a piece of paper that you get that used to be called or is still called a transcript and that we really need to be more focused on enabling all aspects of recognition in a digital realm. He wrote it in 2018, and you can find it on the Berkeley Center for Studies in Higher Education, but it was picked up last week by Ed Scoop and was kind of re-emphasized that we really need to move forward thinking differently as we go down the path of learning and training. And it doesn't matter what form it takes these days, and there are many different ways that people are looking at it. Things called micro-learning, or alternative credentials, or last-mile training, hybrid learning, uh, custom employee training programs, they're out there everywhere in our colleges and universities. But in the end, it's all about recognition and how we put that together in meaningful ways that are meaningful to the individual, to the person, and to those who want to work with them. And that's what today is about. It's about building a community of practitioners who believe that this is an important step forward. And our call at the end of the day will be to build a more expansive community of practice here in Ontario and begin to enable some of the capabilities of digital credentials across our province. I want to uh, thank my colleague, uh, Don Prezant from cancred.ca. Don has been a partner to eCampus Ontario as we've run badging pilots in this province over the past year and a half. 
and has been instrumental in helping us to form this day and create a structure in which we can both learn new things but also engage with that knowledge simultaneously. So I'd like to welcome Don Prezant to just give you a brief scope of what the day will look like and then he'll introduce our keynote speaker, Mark Sermon. Don?